Hi guys, I know we've spent a lot of time on intents. So I've pre-typed everything in this tutorial. It's going to be our last video on intents and we're going to be covering homebrew intents. So last time we defined this intent filter to wave a flag and say, hey, if there are any send actions, I can take care of them. What you can do is also create implicit intents that only your application uses and you define them in a, a very similar way. So here's the one I've just created and it looks the same. You've got the data types here at the bottom. We're expecting to be receiving a text data type. We've got the default category which is necessary for it to function and also we've got the name. But if you look closely here because it's not a default Android intent, you have to name it after your package. So it's, in this case, it's net client user dot droid 101 action drink beer. If I show you the app, I've already created a beer menu item and given it a unique identifier. I'll leave that up, up to you. Uh, we've already created three, I think by now you know how to do it. Let's let's talk about the code a bit more. So if we go into our main activity and we look at the handler for the menu, I've given it the ID of drink beer. And you can see you have to follow the same implicit intent procedure here to add data. So here's our original implicit intent, and here's the one we've just created. So we create an intent, we set its type, we add the extra text, and we start it just as before. But there is one difference. Here you can see the intent action, action drink beer. You have to define this in your class. So if you scroll up to the top, I've taken a string, static final string, I've labeled it action drink beer, and I've set it equal to the label name we had in our Android manifest. And that's how you set up your sending activity. So when this beer button is clicked, it'll send an intent, your implicit intent, homemade implicit intent, and add this text. Now we need to handle the receiving end. So if you go over to about activity, this activity's suddenly got a lot of work to do. We've already sent it a default send action send activity and now we're sending it a drink beer activity. You're going to have to start differentiating and detecting these activities if you're handling more than one. And that's what we've done here. This was the original handler for our implicit activity. We checked if it was text and then we took the original extra text. Well, I've surrounded that by an if statement. If received action equals intent action send, do what we originally wanted it to do. But now we're sending it a drink beer instruction. So we can do the same. We do if received action equals, and you put the string in of your drink beer intent. Drink beer intent. That's, that's my, uh, I'll work on my sense of humour, but beer festivals are great and tents are great places to drink beers in. Okay, enough of the joking around. Uh, so here is our handler. So now we know we're getting a drink beer intent. We also have to still check to see if it's the correct data type. So we do. We check, does the action type start with text? If so, get the extra text as before and set that field to that data. Well, let's see it in action. So let's hit the menu. Let's hit beer and there you go. This is a, a working implicit intent between two activities within the same app. And that's all we're going to do. That's We've covered in, intents now, and uh, you, you should all be expert on it by now. And we'll move on to 
a few more interesting things. Thanks for watching, thanks for sticking with it. I'll see you in the next tutorial.